Good afternoon. How are you all? Today we are going to work on a problem on inequality. So here I go. Solve the inequality t times t minus 5 plus uh, t minus 5, then parenthesis t plus 2 squared greater or equal to 0. So uh, we will solve first. We will solve the equation. T times T minus 5 times T plus 2 squared equal to 0. Okay. So in this equation, either T is equal to 0 or T minus 5 equal to 0. Add 5 on both sides. T is equal to 5. Or T plus 2 square equal to 0. Which is same as T plus 2 equal to 0. Then subtract 2 on both sides. So t is equal to minus 2. Okay. So yet 0, 5 and minus 2. Okay. So we will have to draw a number line. So before we do that, let's move this, create some space. So we will draw a number line. Okay, so first uh, we will do zero. Come right over here. So let's do it over here, zero. And then we have minus one and minus two. Okay. And we'll extend this line a little bit to the right. Okay. And then we have one, two, three on the positive side, four and five. Remember, my solutions are 0, 5, and minus 2. So let's divide this number line into four parts. Okay. So anything less than minus 2, such as minus 3, this is 1. Between minus 2 and 0 is 2, region 2. Then between 0 and 5, is region 3 and then greater than 5 is region 4. Okay. So, we will start with region 1. Select, oops, spelling mistake. Okay. So, Select a point on in region one. So let T is equal to minus three. Remember my inequality is T times T minus five multiplied by T plus two square okay so i'm plugging in minus three so minus three times minus three minus five minus three plus two square okay 
Give more space. Okay. So, so this is minus three times minus three minus five is minus eight, and minus three plus two is two minus three is minus one square. Okay. So minus three times minus eight is, okay, let me write again, minus three minus eight and minus one square is minus one times minus one, which is positive one. So minus three times minus eight is positive 24 times one is 24. That is greater than zero. So now remember our inequality. Let me correct this a little bit. This has to be greater or equal to zero. Okay. So region one is, is where the inequality is valid. Where the inequality is valid. Okay. Do not Please do not quit right now. Please watch the video until the end because I'll give you some important tip or hint. Okay. So now we will look into select a point in region 2. Point. Region 1 means uh, this is T less than minus 2. Okay. Select a region, I mean, sorry, select a point in region two. In region two. Remember region one is X, I'm sorry, T is less than minus two. Okay. In region two, is t it is between minus two and zero okay so now uh, we can select let t is equal to minus one okay so we have t times t minus five times t plus two square that should be greater or equal to zero, okay? So I plug in T is minus one, minus one times minus one, minus five, and then this is minus one plus two square. So minus one, minus one times, uh, minus one minus five added together is minus six, and two minus one is one square. So this is minus one times minus six is positive six times one, which is six. Six times one is six, then that is greater or equal to zero. So region two is also where the inequality is valid. is valid. Okay. Now, let's move this up a little bit. Now, let's look into <clears throat> select a point in region 3. Select a point in region three, in region three, which is between zero less than t less than five. Okay, so let t is equal to say <laughs> two.
So we have uh, t times t minus 5 t plus 2 square should be greater or equal to 0. So if we select 2, it is 2 times 2 minus 5 times 2 plus 2 square. Okay. So 2, 2 minus 5 is minus 3 and 2 plus 2 is 4 square. Okay. So if I so this is 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 times 4 square is 16. And this is minus 96. And definitely it is not greater or equal to 0. Okay. So region 3 is where the inequality is not valid. It is not valid. This is important. Now we are left with region 4. So if I create some space, select a point in region 4. which is t greater than 5. So we have uh, let t equal to 6. So t times t minus 5, t times t minus 5, t plus 2 square. So if I t, take t is equal to 6, and that has to be greater or equal to 0. 6 times 6 minus 5, times 6 plus 2 square. So this is 6 times 1 times 8 square. Okay. So let me create some space. So this is uh, 6. Oops. This is 6 times 1 is 6 times 64 which is 6 fours are 24, 6 six are 36, and 2, 384. And that is definitely greater or equal to zero. So region four is where the inequalities is valid. Okay, so if you, if I move this up, you will see that is not only valid for region two, region uh, two, I mean region three, which is between zero and five. So, x can be less than zero or greater than five. And this is greater or equal to so the solution the solution the solution so it is not valid between zero and five otherwise it is less than zero it is valid less than zero it is valid it is not valid between zero and five and again greater than five it is valid so you can write this in notation that it is valid. So if I write the solution for the inequality is minus infinity up to zero. This is open, this is closed. And or, this is or. Okay, this is called union or or. It is <laughs> greater than five. I have closed brackets here because it is greater or equal to. 
5 to infinity. Okay. And that's open. Okay. So I stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. The important tip I wanted to give you is as you have observed that first I solve the equation. Instead of solving the inequality straight away, I solved the equation, found out the three values of T, and then divided those three values into three regions. One is less than minus three. The other is between minus three and zero. The third region is between zero and five, five being one more solution. And then the last region, region four, is greater than five. Then I selected a point in each of these regions and found out that the inequality is not valid in region three, which is between zero and five. The rest of it is fine. So it can be either less than zero minus infinity to zero, or it can be five to infinity on the right-hand side. Okay, so this is written in this form, okay? Minus infinity to zero, close bracket, then union means or five to infinity. Okay, I stop here today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. In my channel, Math Science Topia, I've solved all kinds of algebra problem. So please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, and check out my playlist called Algebra Problems. There you will find all kinds of algebra problems solved just for you. And please uh, do not forget to check me out or visit my channel tomorrow when I will solve another algebra problem just for you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.